Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we are looking at 2018's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Urban Legends Issue 1. Now this is actually not a new book. This is a reprint of the Image Comics 1996 series, which I believe only had 23 issues and it ended without the last issue coming out. Well now they're going to reprint the whole thing and supposedly they're going to publish that final issue at the end of it, thankfully. But this one starts out with a bang. It is much different than the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series in many respects. The, well, it's not like the cartoon or the animated series. This is more like the original black and white stories from Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Now, this story is by Gary Carlson, art by Frank Fosco, inks by Eric Larson and Chance Wolf, colors by Adam Guzawski, I don't know, letters by Chris Eliopoulos, and the original series editor was Eric Larson. Now, we start out with an explosion somebody had has shot Donatello, a grenade comes in, there's explosions, cyborgs show up, and the turtles are fighting them off, having a bad time doing it, and this lady shows up, and she's dressed very scantily clad, but she is in fact a ninja, and she does work them over pretty well, uses a flash grenade, and she references the dragon lord, her name is Pamiko, and then they, they escape with Donatello and Master Splinter, in a helicopter no less. Then Donatello is severely injured he has to fight one of the soldiers he's all bloody and falls out of the helicopter it's a whole thing meanwhile Raphael gets blasted in the face and disfigured by the one of the cyborgs that was left behind it's pretty nasty but with Raph's face all tore up Donatello potentially severely injured Master Splinter is able to send a message to the others well to Leonardo at least and give them a slight bearing on where they're going and that Don is somewhere in between so it, it leaves on a pretty interesting cliffhanger it's a really hardcore violent story there is a lot of blood and gore and seeing Raph's mangled face is pretty nasty and all this because the turtles were celebrating their birthday and these guys wanted to rain on their parade so it's a pretty brutal right out of the gate story a lot's happening but it was really well done it's you definitely could get away with writing this today i don't think it would have to be reprinted instead of original because of the violent nature of it the incredibly adult oriented nature of the story and you can tell that it's the original turtles and not the tv turtles because they're all wearing red headbands which is something that was originally in the eastman and laird storyline uh, the colored headbands started with the animated series Series. This is not the animated series. This is the more mature, original style turtles with a slightly different twist. It changes a lot about the turtle lore, and it's not something that's been worked into newer series. So it's an interesting throwback because when this came out, the turtles had kind of run their course through popular medium, and they weren't really in vogue with the cartoon arena anymore, and they weren't really being published through Mirage anymore. So they were kind of of like shelved for a little while and when image picked it up they were able to do something different with it so this is kind of its own universe thing that plays on the original series more than the animated i think this will appeal to anyone that has more of an adult notion of the turtles and wants to see a different take on them an alternate more violent view of them so if you are a hardcore action fan you might find something interesting here this is not your animated cartoon turtles though this is definitely a much more grown-up storyline that probably is more violent and gruesome than even the current run that is being done by idw i believe there are only going to be 24 issues in this entire thing they only published i think 23 of them and the 24th one never got published before but if you're looking for those original stories from image now you can buy them off the newsstand for cover price and get to relive that series all over again and i would recommend it i thought it was fun it's a different take on the turtles but it's not a bad one so the the art's okay the story is pretty good i thought it was definitely more original and innovative and action-packed than most current books on the market because it although it is a gruesome take on the universe of the teenage mutant ninja turtles it was uh really well done and it was a fun read and i'm looking forward to picking up issue two because i haven't read these in 20 years and it's uh, interesting stroll down memory lane but that'll do it for this one as always thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel if you like the video hit like and consider subscribing and we hope to see you on the next one